Hi, I'm Tim. Please join me in this video as we take this model of the Slowly, a foam board RC flyer, and we're going to experiment with artificial intelligence to come up with some ideas for paint schemes for this aircraft. Let's get to it. As a reminder, there are chapters in the timeline below if you'd like to jump ahead to a different section of this video. So, what is artificial intelligence in simple words? Just let me read this very short description. Art artificial intelligence overview. Artificial intelligence is the concept of creating computer systems that can perform tasks requiring human-like intelligence, such as learning, decision-making, pattern recognition, and understanding language. It works by training computer systems with a lot of data uh, to recognize patterns, make predictions similar to how, how humans learn. And this enables computers to automate complex tasks and provide insights and suggestions in areas like healthcare, finance, even creative content generation. So I'll demonstrate here, we've all used Google. So if we ask a fairly simple question of Google, how to bake a chocolate cake, we will get a series of websites that we click on to get further information how to bake that cake. You'll find with artificial intelligence and the program I'm going to be using is ChatGPT. You can simply ask the question, in this case, how to bake a chocolate cake. It does the research for you and it will simply say in text what you have to do to bake a chocolate cake. It just does that from its vast learning to gain all the knowledge to answer questions. They call them prompts. You just ask a series of questions and ChatGPT will do tasks for you. In this video for the artificial intelligence work, I'm going to be using the program ChatGPT. Uh, the um, website address is in the description. It is a free program for initial users. If you wish to pay for the premium uh, for an advanced version, <clears throat> you can do it for $20 a month. It's what they um, call a freemium service, a combination of the words free and premium. The free service, you get to ask 10 questions every 24 hours, the premium, um, more questions, fast response time, greater library to look at. So again, it's, it's a totally free if you wish to try this at home. Now, it was released in November 30th of 2022, ChatGPT, and <clears throat> it uses um, what they call a generative pre-trained transformer to generate text, speech, and images in response to prompts, which is what we'll demonstrate here. By January of 2023, ChatGTP had become the fastest growing consumer application in history, gaining over 100 million users in um, two months. That's a lot. The top five being Google, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, the ChatGPT. Chat GPT. So that's, that's really pretty amazing. And what will happen is you'll see that we can ask it questions. It can respond in writing. And what else ChatGPT does if we ask it to do something with imagery, to draw a picture, a landscape, or in this case, some suggested paint schemes for an aircraft, it will do that to the aircraft picture. And, and we'll demonstrate all that in a second. In this video, we're going to use a model, a foam uh, board model that I made called the Slowly. Uh, there's a link in the description to the build of this. Very nice uh, design done by a German gentleman. And I like low, slow flyers. And here we are. What I do with these models, because it's so easy to make, <clears throat> made this in a couple of days from the uh, included plans in the video. It's a prototype just to see how everything goes together, where it balances out. I like it a lot, but I intend on building a second variant, a little bit wider fuselage, a few changes I'll describe in the video when I do it. And to I wanted to brainstorm some ideas for paint schemes for this aircraft, which would be the subject of this video right here. Again, very nice flyer and like it a lot. So this will be the basis for our video today. Coming up next, we'll see how we use ChatGPT to come up with these paint schemes. And what I'm doing in this case is I have a picture of the slowly just on the bench with no of the colored tape on it at all, just a white model. <clears throat> you upload that to ChatGPT 
And the first thing I want to do is put the model in a grass field. And you'll see it be transformed from this workbench here to a grass field, all done automatically through artificial intelligence. I then added different color schemes, telling it what colors to put on, uh, variations of the color. Um, I asked it to put on a radial engine to see what that looks like. And you just experiment with the program to see what it comes out with, because this is just changing all the time with artificial intelligence. If I do these same actions a month from now, I'm probably going to get different outcomes as the learning and understanding of the model evolves. The other thing that's very important with any work with artificial intelligence, because again, you could write a speech, you could do research, you can take, uh, can take tests and do a pretty good job, is especially with pictures, any artificial program, artificial intelligence program, will have what they call hallucinations. The model doesn't quite know what to do to your question, so it just kind of makes something up to respond to the question. And you'll see, as part of the hallucin hallucinations with this one, is it added landing gear uh, to it just, just out of the blue, uh, filled in the fuselage, so it wasn't the um, open fuselage back on the slowly, just made some changes. Again, you're just going to be aware this is in the nature of the program. You, what you have to do is ask it another prompt to rectify that to eventually get to where you want to go with that um, iterative, iterative approach with the artificial intelligence. So that being said, let's call up the program and let's walk through it and see how it works. This is a program we're all familiar with Google. So let's do a Google search for how to bake a chocolate cake from scratch. Just to see how Google works compared to ChatGTP, ChatGPT, which will come up next. So it's a familiar Google screen, but there's a bunch of links. So you have to go through the links to see which website is probably going to best answer your question. Bunch of choices. So let's take a look at this one from At A Pinch. And here we are. Uh, we look at the picture of the cake. Just a nice uh, web page. We go down through here and here are the ingredients. And a little bit further down, it'll tell us how to make it. This is the chat GPT screen, a very clean presentation. We're going to type in the same question that calls it a prompt, just how to bake a chocolate cake, you know, start coming up with suggestions. Chocolate cake from scratch. And we just go for a search and then pretty quickly it comes up with the answer. We don't have to click at any links. We don't have to go anywhere. It has the dry ingredients, the wet ingredients, the instructions, just like an assistant giving answering the question that you may ask, uh, options, how to put it together, etc. What we're going to do is with chat GPT, we're going to add a picture, in this case, a picture of the airplane, the slowly. I have it on my desktop. We simply upload it and there it is. Now we type in a prompt or question. And we're going to ask to take this white airplane and put it on a grass field. We simply ask that question, and then through artificial intelligence with ChatGPT, it'll take that picture and attempt to place it on a grass field. So there it is working. Uh, that's the screen where it's doing it. It takes a couple of minutes. And then once it is done, we get this right here. So I think it did a pretty decent job of taking that white airplane, repositioning it slightly, and putting it on a nice grass field. So we can type in another question. It still has that picture. It keeps track of what we're doing. So I'm asking, can we change the background to a sandy beach? And there's the white airplane on a sandy beach. Now let's take a little bit closer look at this because there are some things we need to note. Here's the airplane, the tail's not on the ground, and notice there's a little bit of hallucinations that added the landing gear to this aircraft, not part of the original picture. Again, that's part of the nature of AI. Nice shadow, nice background, but it added the landing gear, what we call a hallucination. Looking back at the original white picture, not super great lighting, but it gives information on the airplane. The more you work with it, you'll take better pictures to help ChatGPT. This is the picture on the grass field. Notice it did a pretty good job keeping the details of the airplane, the spitter in front, even the grass up along the side of the airplane. Overall, a pretty good job. Now I asked it to add some uh, yellow and red coloring. It came up with this. I then asked to add a pr predominantly blue uh, paint scheme, kept the rubber bands, the uh, popsicle sticks in front of the wing. Now, when we did a yellow one, notice it added a spinner and a regular propeller and filled in the aft fuselage. 
We did another color scheme request, and this time, again, a hallucination adding landing gear to this aircraft. This is just another excursion. I said, please put on a radial engine to the front. This is what it came up with. And then I said, why don't you move it to the side? But again, it doesn't know the back of the airplane, the open thing. It just took a best estimate. I then decided to take a picture of the side view of the aircraft and then ask it to add colors to the side view. This is what it came up with. Again, a pretty good job because we took a good, clear picture for it to work on. The final one, I asked it to put the plane on an airport runway. Big hallucination. You can see the Cub style landing gear, the wooden prop, and the spinner, and that's what we have. Thank you for joining me in this video. Artificial intelligence is a lot going on in the world of artificial intelligence, and I'll be doing uh, further work exploring how it can help us with our radio control model airplane tasks, maybe finding a center of gravity, designing whatever. Again, I'll be experimenting with that, and I'll keep you updated with what I find out. Thank you.